politicians have really abandoned you to a large extent. And Hillary Clinton, you can forget about her. So let me state this right up front. A Trump administration, our Christian heritage, will be cherished, protected, defended like you've never seen before. It was Donald Trump, of course, doing something that no Republican has ever done before as he addresses the Evangelical Voter Value Voter Summit in Washington as his party's official nominee. So how does his message resonate in the crowd? Joining us now is Tony Perkins. He's the president of the Family Research Council and author of the book, No Fear, Real Stories of a Courageous New Generation Standing for Truth. Tony, great to see you this morning. Good morning, Tucker. How are you? I, we're good. Um, and this, uh, Tony, this is Clayton asking you this question. The Republican presidential nominee yesterday mentioned that he would like to repeal a 62-year-old measure known as the Johnson Amendment, which would pro which prohibits, you know, uh, uh, religious organizations from making political endorsements. That was some big news that came out of this speech. What do you make of that? Smart move. Well, it is. It's something he's been talking about. In fact, he explained yesterday how it came about when he was meeting with some pastors and they said they couldn't speak favorably about him for risk of losing their tax exemption. He said, well, why is that? And so that's what he, he's actually been talking about that for uh, some time, going back to the meeting we had in New York a couple of months ago with a thousand evangelical leaders. Look, I, Tucker, I think he helped himself simply by coming here. Uh, he's, as you mentioned, he's the first Republican nominee to come and speak after the election. Generally, they check the box, yeah, we got the evangelicals, and they move on. He's continuing to have a conversation, build a relationship. And because he's been unwilling to be harnessed by this uh, political correctness, I think people believe him, that he is, in fact, going to defend the rights of Americans to exercise their faith in the public square. So, Tony, typically the Republican nominee makes the case that he himself is an evangelical. I'm one of you, I understand, talks about his prayer life. Trump has not done that. He has instead said, I will protect you. And the upshot of that is he's getting, according to our, the most recent poll, 63% of evangelical support, Clinton 17%. How does that compare to previous Republican nominees you've seen? Well, it, it, it is different, you know, but for him to say, I'm going to protect you, as opposed to Hillary Clinton, who says, I'm going to prosecute you, uh, based upon continuing the policies of Barack Obama, it's a big difference. And I think, look, he's not trying to convince himself, uh, convince people that he's an evangelical. He's simply saying, I'm going to protect your right to believe uh, and live according to your beliefs. And given what's happened in the last eight years, we're living in a different time. We've seen policies from this administration consistently attacking that right. And so it is a message that's resonating. Even going back to the primary when he said, I'm going to, you're going to be able to say Merry Christmas again. People kind of scoffed at that and laughed. But it was a very loaded message because people understand exactly what he was saying. All right. Tony, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thanks so much. All right, Tucker, good to be with you. Thanks. Take it's it away, fine. Tucker. Thanks, Clayton. It's called bunny hunting, and it's a horrifying reality. The parents